this time I've got it. Will that be okay? No, I don't like that one either. Give me a second. Okay, I understand. Hmm. But I don't see anything else that we could use. Something else? There it is. I think I could... If only I could move it. There you go. You're sick! You're insane! You're not thinking straight! You're right! I am sick! I'm sick of you not being there for us! We need you. I need you. When was the last time you slept with me? <laughs> Christ, when was the last time you even touched me? Do you know what that does to me? To, to know that my own husband is disgusted with me? Well, excuse me if I've been too busy working my ass off trying to provide for this family. But no, you're right. It's much more important to whisper sweet nothings in your ear. <laughs> you call that work? You, you lock yourself in there for hours, days. You, you come out looking like shit, stinking of booze and stale piss. Can I come over here? Unfortunately, I don't think I can. Hey, Mr. Scooter. What? Oh, that... That's alright, honey. Something got into Mommy's eye, that's all. You be a good little girl and go to sleep. Daddy's working, so we can't disturb him. Mommy has to go downstairs and take a bath. I love you. More than a wife, she was first and foremost his muse. Her beauty and talent drove him. After the accident, she became a burden. A disgusting monster screeching out from her bed. An anchor, weighing him down. And sorry, but I wasn't quite done there. Last will and testament. I, grasping at the remains of my sanity, declare this to be my last will and testament. 
I hereby deem all my previous wills just as worthless as the shallow husks calling themselves my friends and associates. To my agent, Thomas Caldwell, I bestow the hellish vermin that infest my home, praying that they will gnaw away at him endlessly, bleeding him dry, just like he did to me. To my publisher, Lion Brickstone, I bequeath the flames that consumed the love of my life, in hope that they will devour him, along with the wretched whore and the squealing bastard he calls his family. To my lawyer, James Jerome Sadler, I pass on whatever illness has rotted my mind and soul away, so that he can feel just as empty and useless as he was to me. To any other parasites that come crawling out of the woodwork, I leave nothing. To hell with all of you. Finally, to my beloved daughter, I leave all my earthly possessions for what they're worth. I hope they will inspire you to realize your true potential. This, the final, most precious gift, however, is not mine to give. You will have to discover that on your own. I believe in you, as I always have. Mm -hmm. Let me see another thing here. Henry Marvin, Relationship Counselor. March 3rd. This time we are really going. So they attempted to try come on. they attempted to try fixing it. Lies, 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 lies. That dog better not be where I think it is. <laughs> Hey there, princess. You you want to sit on daddy's lap? Come on, it's okay. Mm. Oh. Huh. I don't remember that being there. I mean, this crap. Really? I can hear you out there. Please, please help me. It hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. I can't take it anymore. Mm. Yes. Thank you. It's so good to feel that there's still beauty in this world. I think you do remember it. Scary door. I don't know what I expected to find. A farewell note? A final will? What I found was an apology. Expressed in the only language he ever truly knew. At that moment, I could finally see my father for what he was. A man driven insane with sadness and guilt. Trapped in this house, a nightmarish echo chamber of past mistakes and tragedies. It was this house, a place beyond hope, beyond redemption. I knew what I had to do. I had given up trying to understand my father a long time ago. But 
that I could finally forgive him. of fear inheritance i know there's at least one more ending i think there's at least there are two more endings i'm not entirely sure about that but i am content this one <laughs> hey princess what have you got there oh that's so lovely sweetie why pink? It runs in the family. <laughs> 